We'll discuss it in more detail as after they reach Japan. Thank you very much. And now we've reached Japan. Ugh. Cheer up, Harry. But do you really hate recruiting that much? Oh, I know who our new pilots are. We've got the brave suppressed core, celestial being, and outsiders like Fifth World. Isn't that enough? Well, two out of the three of those have stayed behind at Area D, so no. Perhaps, but the strength of the Mars' successors is still unknown to us. There's a chance to get supporters we don't know about. Wolfgang, Shogun Mifune, Catherine Vuitton, and Hauk and, and Hoi Kao Lo are all among those hired to create attention. And that's why we need to gather the forces of our own to oppose them. Is it really that hard to understand? I understand it perfectly, but the not as cool already as you and me. How many more do we need? You have one more other pilot. You got Ryoko as well. Don't knock it. Could it be you're uncomfortable gathering the previous generation's Nodisco members? Don't be ridiculous! And this is where we're getting into the plot of uh, Prince of Darkness, which is straight up... The first few acts of it are, get the band back together. That response is all the proof I need. Huh? You got any problem with my, got a problem with my old friends? No, it's not that. You jealous, Harry? I see. You must not want anyone else to get too close to his beloved captain. Oh, come on. Man up already. Ugh. Ah! Hey, Harry! I think we should leave him alone. You sure? Prospector and co. are also hard at work. We need to hurry to Hikaru's location. What's this Hikaru person up to anyway? I heard she was a cartoonist. Huh, cartoonist. She created a big hit based on the heat of battle. So she must be a hot female cartoonist. That's right, it is I, the master Hikaru Amano! Hikaru! He, I looked and heard that Rui and Ryoko were here, so I came as quick as I could. Feels good coming from a proper cartoonist. Hikaru, I heard you had a big deadline coming up. You aren't appropriately dressed to be outdoors. Uh, well... Master, wait! You can't leave! You've got a deadline, Yomi! Oh, I like it! Sally's numerous part-time jobs mean she's either the editor or one of her assistants. Uh, Sally? Maito! Wait, what? You know each other? This bittersweet feeling. It couldn't be. But Master, the deadline is tomorrow. We've got to get back to work. So, Sally, you know Hikaru? Yeah, I was working introduced for her by a friend who was working as a temporary assistant. You liar, Hikaru! You didn't come to see us! You were trying, just trying to avoid your deadline! J just wanted to get some air! Okay then, now that you got some, you can return to work. No! I'm imagining Sally grabbing Hikaru by the back of her collar and dragging her off panel while Hikaru claws at the air futilely in front of her as she leaves the frame of the camera. Please! I'm not working till I get my natto roll! Be reasonable! Is a natto roll really all that hard to come by? Seems a lot has changed since we left our last in Japan. One of the ways in which Japan is different from the United States? There could be miners present inside this bar without the bar owner risking dramatic fines. I think I got it. An orange is an orange, unless it's an apple. <laughs> I figured that you turned over a new leaf in your opinion bar. Some things never change, Yumi. I could say the same to you. She's another one of the pilots of the Ananasco. 
Glenn Susumi Maki from the previous Thunder Scouts as the Avellus squad. Indeed. Still, what is it? I came with Prospector for the experience, but I guess this is how bars are, huh? Well, this is how Japanese bars are. Japanese bars are very different from American bars. Would you like some drink? I can make most basic cocktails. Oh no, they have alcohol in it, right? You've never had alcohol before, have you? No, and I've never been in a place like this. Thank you for coming. If you don't mind, I'd be happy to teach you a thing or two about drinking. Thank you so much, but I'm fine. Stosi, are you a, a lightweight? I'm kind of afraid of alcohol. Is the FD a result of the world naivete, a result of the world she was raised in? Or is this who she actually is? So you're willing to board Nandisco again? It's not a problem, but there's something I need to do first. What would that be? Eat Natto. What is it with you and Natto? So I see. So a mouthful of Natto is the only thing that will get you back to the front lines? That's right. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I totally understand. As I knew you would. So this is how the masters talk. What is it with y'all and Natto? Okay, Mido, count me in. Amada, what did Mido say? He said he urgently needed my needed my help. He really owe him, Van. Let's help out. Hmm, I don't think that approach really suits you, Velt. We're all on duty for the first time in ages, so you should try to take it easy. Well, it's hard to argue with that. Thanks, Amada. Nine, I'm sorry, but I really need you to take it from here. Understood. I'm a, I will make sure everyone enjoys their stay in Nouvelle Tokyo City. No need to take it so seriously, Nine. Yeah, just going through these peaceful streets is more than enough for us. I mean, we're... Planet side? As opposed to this in a Xeon, Xeon or Neo Xeon sympathetic space colony? Which is possibly controlled by some sort of evil corrupt government that's going to try and kidnap us and steal our giant robots? Sun is shining, the grass is green, the fresh air is the, the fresh air blowing from the streets. Everything is all nice and peaceful. Sounds like you've got it tough in your world. You could say that. Same with Hathaway, but Mithril and Judo don't seem overly eager to talk about their worlds. With worlds, worlds with history is similar to our own. What does I want to ask? I just can't. But there's been a heavy police presence here. You're right. It seems like they're guarding something. I wonder if it's something to do with the fact that we have bunches of super robot criminals who've been acting up lately. There's a strange thief has been on the loose in Novell Tokyo City these past few days. By the way, I love how, like, again, like, because they're so consistent with the character design and keeping them true to their original works, you have the contrast here of more realistic character designs of Gundam Double Zeta with the more heavily stylized character designs of Mike Gain. Huh? The Phantom Thief? Tell us more. Oh, it's Mito's friend. Hello. Looks like you're in a hurry. Something wrong? I got some nacho from a friend and I thought I should hurry up and deliver it. Wow, what dedication. Natto? It's a fermented Japanese food. A sticky soy palate product with, a, with a peculiar odor. I am familiar with this from, um... Uh, oh crap, let me show this fell out of my head. Um, Boyashimon, which is an anime series about fermentation and, micro and microbes, microorganisms. Um, and so here's the thing with Natto Natto is an active culture organism. The thing with Natto is you can make your own. Particularly if you have an old batch of natto. So if, if natto has somehow become some rare delicacy, that shouldn't be the case. It would be like if all of a sudden yogurt stopped, yogurt became hard to come by. You really know your stuff, Hathaway. My mother was of Japanese descent. It seems like you've taken an interest in natto. Allow me to explain it to you. Belt, you are the human clippy. No, 
no thank you. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, that is, is that a valuable? It is Japan at the moment. Why is this happening? I just explained it. Like, this would be like if people were engaging in large robberies over yogurt. And, and not even like a particular artisan yogurt culture um, sort of thing, but like just if like people were holding up truckloads of denim. Armed robbers breaking into grocery stores and going, Give me all your yogurt! The if I mentioned earlier has been stealing natto from all across Japan. Stealing natto? But natto is a food, right? Why steal that of all things? The police have been investigating that, but still aren't sure. Hmm, get a rip of that. Yeah! Creep discovered. Notifying police. Ah, uh, thank you, Nine. Creep? Well, what else would you call an old man sniffing random girls? A guy's got a point there. I don't want to hurt the elderly. Please refrain from resisting. Oh, <laughs> somebody's gonna get a, gonna get a whooping. Oh, hold on a second. You've got me all wrong. Ah, you creep. I'll never forgive you. Barry, what are you doing here? Never mind that. You've got to arrest him. I told you. You've got me all wrong. It's the smell of natto that I adore. Natto? That's right. I'm Rujiro Senpuji, Nato's biggest fan. Huh? Did you say Senpuji? But look now, looks like a real creep is making a move on your girls. What? Hmm. My lady, are you not human? You can you can tell. Not even the gods can pull the wool over the eyes of Seiya Uribatake. You're so delicate. And you're so nice ugly, you'd be pretty stretched to call you an action figure. Who could have made such a masterpiece? You are, in fact, a 100% creep, as opposed to the old guy with the natto fetish. It's rude to tell a lady that. Nine is right. We're not going to sit back and watch you molest our friend. Bring the hammer of justice down hard upon the head of his incorrigible flirt. This is starting to get out of head. Pathway, you have just ended up in the world of a super robot anyway. I realize that you've been from the more relatively restrained and calm and laid-back world of Mobile Suit Gundam's Universal Century, and where the most weird things get is a massive food fight involving oranges over the possible theft of the, of the Gundam Seda, which ends with a chicken being perched on the head of your father, Bright Noah. But this is the universe, this is the brave anime universe, or one of the brave anime universes, where things are, things be crazy. Ugh! Hey, boys. Looks like you enjoy Natto. Who are you? People call me Pink Cat, the Phantom Theme. Catherine Vuitton! Here I am, the messenger of hate! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.